Hey everyone, it's Mike with Monkey Fab, and I'm out here running fuel lines, finishing up the last of the fuel lines inside the Phoenix. And I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you how to put these PTFE lines together. So these are pretty cool. Um, I sold this on the website. It's a pretty reasonable price. I I, I do believe um, they are PTFE line, so it's like a plastic liner, a Teflon liner on the inside. And uh, then it's still braided and nylon wrap. This is a non-conductive hose. So look into that. Um, some people get worked up about that. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the easiest way to cut these guys, well, the only way to cut these guys really is with a set of cutters. Um, these guys, you might be tempted to try to cut it with a speedy grinder. A lot of times you cut A and hoses like that and just cut it off. Um, but what that does is it makes it too big for you to get the furl nut over. So use those guys when you do cut the insides. It's going to look like this. And it's just plastic on there, some wires, and the braid. And then what I do is before I cut it, I'll wrap it in uh, electrical tape. And uh, the cool thing is, is these guys sit, these, these guys, the hose sits on, on this guy here. It sits right here, so the easiest thing you do is just you take these two guys, put them on either side of where you need to run, then measure the distance between the two, and that's how much hose you need. So it's really easy to measure for these guys. And then this is how it's pretty much set up. Uh, there is this guy, he already saw that. There is this, it's called an olive. It's not a furl, it's an olive, there's a difference. And then this guy, if you guys are on top of that, it keeps, keeps your olive in place. Um, so I need to make a short little line here. It's going to be a little, uh, this is dash tennis for the feed uh, on my uh, fuel system here. I'll try to say uh a little less. <laughs> so the first thing you do is after you cut it is put your ends on. So I'm just going to take and put both ends on because I have to do both sides. And these guys are, uh, can't get away from the, uh, they are the same so the backs of these guys on the 90s 45s whatever they're all the same then what I do is I take and I just kind of smash it so as to make it round again and we take the tape off that's why I have to have the reading glasses I can't see things up close that good no mo where is it at there it is so you take off the tape and that leaves it all fuzzy like that and then what we need to do is, what I usually do is, this guy's going to be kind of ovaled in there. So what I'll do is I just take this guy and I just set it down in here and I just kind of rotate it around. Just kind of, kind of make it a little bit on the round side. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it needs to be a little bit round. And then you're just taking you with your thumb, you're just going to mash this guy out. Just be careful, it's going to poke the hell out of you. It's just like every AM line. Then the olive, it has a landing on the end of it, a register. So it just goes on and that register sits on top of that. So you just push this down until it sits, until it sits on that guy. Just like this. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just take this guy and just kind of throw a little lubricant on there that is fuel line approved lubricant right there and I just kind of give it a little walk to kind of fan it out so I get it nice and round all the way around and then you just jam it in there cool thing is that's already sealed you're not counting on crushing this olive uh, like you would on like aluminum fuel hose it's already sealed you just need to have this guy hold that olive to make sure it doesn't back off and become unsealed so um, one thing you can get out of your mind is the idea that you have to crush that olive you don't <laughs> I had some guy call me and he's like he's like do you have those in copper or brass or whatever. I said, they're, they're aluminum. It's like, I, I, I have bad luck with the aluminum ones. When I crush them, they always leak. And I couldn't help them. I wanted to help them, but 
sometimes it's just best to try not to help people. Some people you just can't reach. So that's what we're working with right now, this guy here. And then what we're going to do is just kind of work this guy up over top of that wad. And the easy, ow, the easiest way to do it is um, just give it steady pressure, steady, even pressure. And just kind of let the threads pull it up. If I get like, there's a little bit of a, uh, there is a little wire booger in the way there. Right, meow. Yeah, so I'm just going to kind of push that out of the way. And it'll automatically just start kind of threading onto it. And you can get it usually pretty, pretty close to being all the way. Like now, like that. And let's just go ahead and do this other side since we got it here. And then I'll. All right, and then once we got those guys. Once we got these guys whoop, ready to go, then we'll just uh, use a throat of ice. I have uh, a little aluminum on here folded over to make kind of like a set of soft jaws. And all you gotta do is just snug these guys down. You don't have to kill it, there's no need to kill it. pretty good so there can be a gap in there it's okay it's okay like I said you're not smashing that you're not smashing furls you're just keeping the olive retained there's a difference okay there we go one line assembled and that's all there is to it pretty easy so uh, check them out check out the prices it's a good deal